Hello, my name is Donna. My whole name is Donna Williams. I'm going to be talking to you about the autism and about fruit salad. Well, I'm actually going to be talking about some of the things that are inside of a person's autism. And one of the things that can be inside of a person's autism is face blindness really and not all autistic people are face blind but some are and some of the people who are face blind well when they see somebody they don't cheer up or relax or act like they know that person and the reason why is because that person just doesn't look familiar they don't look like somebody that they know. So when those people with autism, the ones who are face blind, are growing up, they make best friends, usually, with objects. Because objects, they don't change their clothes. Objects don't change their hair. Objects are always in the place you left them, usually. And so you don't have to recognize their face or tell their face from another face and that's easier when you're face blind and face blind people often like dogs or cats or animals more than people because the animals don't go and change their clothes the animals don't change their hairstyle the animals the animals don't usually get wet and look totally different like in the swimming pool mm, so the animals are easier to recognize than the people and some people who are face blind they make really good friends with the mirror and the reason why is because that person in the mirror seems like someone else so a lot of face blind people the people who can't recognize faces when they look in the mirror doesn't feel like that's a picture of them it feels like that must be someone else like a special friend who really understands them like some kind of special friend who always knows where to find them or some kind of special friend who always has the kind of feelings that make you think that they understand you and that can feel very very safe so making really good friends with the mirror is also a good way to practice talking making friends with the mirror is a way to not feel too lonely and go crazy making friends with the mirror is a way to relax when you can't sleep because you can put the mirror next to your bed and relax with the person that you feel you trust. Making friends with the mirror can mean you can eat at the table because instead of looking around and everything's maybe not that familiar, when you have this person who's in the mirror with you, they've been there all your life. You saw them in all those shop windows you saw them in all the reflections. You saw them in the mirrors in your house. Maybe you even saw them on the toilet door where there was a mirror that maybe helped you to relax while you went to the toilet because you were in there with the person you know best. That person in the mirror. And some people, that's really important. But most people are not face blind. So what is it like to not be face blind? Well, the not face blind people, when they're in the classroom, they can recognize everybody. So if this person gets up and goes to another desk or goes outside and comes back to somewhere different, they still know who that is. And they know as soon as they've walked in the room and they know before they even said anything. 
Now a not face blind person, when they're in the classroom and somebody goes outside into the playground and they're running around and kicking a ball and doing all sorts of things that they're not used to seeing, they know who that is. So they can run up and say, hi, we're friends. And they'll recognize each other. And they'll always be able to find each other because they won't all look mixed up and similar to everybody else. And the not face blind people, when they go off swimming and their hair gets wet and they've changed all their clothes and their friend's hair is all wet and have changed all their clothes, they still know who is exactly who. And the not face blind people, when they go off on an excursion, the teacher doesn't have to always know exactly where they are because the teacher can always be found because the not face blind people go, ah, oh, that's Miss, that's Mr. So-and-so. Not the one who's face blind because where's the teacher? The teacher looks like a whole lot of other people in the crowd. So the face blind person looks for this person's jacket or their bag or their earrings or their hair. Or maybe they had a big red balloon to make sure they could get found. And the face blind person, when they're a little baby and their mother is wearing yellow and their mother goes out the room and someone else has come in and they're wearing yellow, it's hard to tell who's the mother. And in the supermarket, if one person, if the mother has black shoes, and you know that's my mother's black shoes and the mother goes to get something some face blind people will walk off with somebody else who's just got black shoes and then they go oh, it's all the wrong noises oh, it's all the wrong sounds and then they get nervous but when they done that and done that done that a lot they stop looking for the people they can't recognize and what some face blind people do is they go and be with the objects. Maybe they always go where the books are or they might always go where the cordial is or something. And they wait for the other people to come and recognize them. Now when face blind people grow up, it can get pretty scary because people are all making friends and they walk in their own street and they can't recognize the people unless they see them come out of the right house. Oh, that's so-and-so. Oh, now I know. Or that's so-and-so because they drive this kind of car. So recognizing is the really hard thing for a face blind person. And it makes them kind of scared to make friends with people because some days everyone looks like a friend anyone everyone and some days everybody looks like a stranger just about everybody it gets very confusing and if someone makes friends with you and you look at them and you don't know who they are then you look away because that's a stranger and that strangers using your name and they're talking to you and they don't know they think you're being rude. They think that you're pretending you don't know them. They think that maybe you're crazy. They think, oh, that's because you're autistic. So when I meet people and I'm being friendly and they say, oh, I'll see you again. Nice meeting you. I say, wait, I'm face blind. When you meet me again, if you wave to me and use my name, I might look away because I've never seen you before. So please, tell me who you are. And so next time they see me, they say, Hi Donna, it's Mary from down the shops. And I go, oh yeah, Mary. Ah, when we were at the bakery, I met you, I remember. And when you're face blind, 
sometimes it's important that if you go out in the group together, the person who's taking you to the group has to wear a certain colour hat or a, a red t-shirt, something that you can find because all the faces look all mostly the same. So being face blind doesn't have to be too scary and being face blind can make you really good at lots of other things. So being face blind can make you listen much more to some of the other things like the tone of voice. And being face blind can make you look at how people move. So sometimes being face blind makes you get much better at some of the other things that you wouldn't be good at. So sometimes when you meet people and they just come to the front door and they expect, oh, you should be happy to see them. The face blind person sometimes just walks off because they don't see anything familiar. Even if they know your name, they might still not be totally sure that you really are that person. And so they'll still be nervous and walk away. But when you start talking and you start doing things or singing a song that they know you sing, they're happy to see you because now they know who you are. But the not face blind people, they don't understand that. And that's why if you're face blind, you have to tell them what that's like. You have to say, can you help me? Because I'm face blind as part of my autism. I hope that's helped. Bye.